In today's video, I'll be breaking down one of the best New Zealand cryptocurrency wallets, Exodus. I'll be showing you all of its features, exactly how to use it, and I'll also be showing you how you can get some free Bitcoin for Coinbase and Easy Crypto, some of the best exchanges that are supported by the Exodus wallet. Firstly, what is Exodus? It's a software wallet that allows you to store different types of cryptocurrency. It supports all the major ones like Bitcoin and Ethereum, but also more up and coming ones like Cardona and XRP. Essentially, when it comes to cryptocurrency, there's two forms of wallet, a software wallet and a hardware wallet. With software wallets, they're not deemed to be as secure, but they're much more accessible because they are free and you don't actually have to put any money aside to purchase them. Whereas a hardware wallet is a form of cold store storage where you physically have to transfer your currencies onto them. These include ones like the Trezor and Ledger Nano S but these can be quite costly and it can deter you when you first start out because you don't necessarily want to spend $150 or even up to $200 of your own money just to store your crypto. So software wallets like Exodus are a great starting point. When you first set up your Exodus wallet it will ask you to create a unique password and a set of security phrases. Make sure you keep these phrases safe because if you forget your password then these phrases are the only way to unlock your wallet and this is done just for safety and it eliminates a lot of the risk that can come with storing your wallet on an exchange so that's where that safety comes in but it also requires you to be responsible and remember your password and keep those security phrases safe so that no one can gain access to your coins so it's protected from a lot of the risks or hacks that can come with storing your coins on an exchange because with either a software or hardware wallet your coins are not just tied to an email address and password it's a unique pin number that's non-recoverable except from those security phrases that you have to use when you first make your account. So this makes them a great option for beginners because it's free and very accessible no matter how much experience you have. If you're wanting to download Exodus, just type it into Google. It's the first link that pops up and just follow the download prompts so you can install the wallet on your computer. If you're using Apple, it also has an option to view the wallet on your phone and also exchange currencies, but you can only purchase, send or receive your currencies if you're logged into Exodus on your computer. Just jumping behind the computer screen, I'll give you a quick overview of what the platform looks like. So as you can see here, this is my portfolio and it has the different types of assets that you have purchased. So you can see how much is in there. So the majority of mine is currently Ethereum and then you can slide the cursor around to see that I've got also Bitcoin, Cardona and XRP as well. So you can see how much money you have per currency invested in your portfolio so you can get a nice breakdown of what investments actually make up the portfolio that you have. You can also look at the growth of your portfolio over different time frames. Here we've got one month, six months, one year and so on so you can see how well your portfolio has been doing over different time points and then if you scroll down it gives you a nice overview of all the different types of cryptocurrencies or a lot of the cryptocurrencies that are available and their price changes. Up the top here you can also exchange cryptocurrencies directly for another. If I wanted to exchange say half of my Bitcoin into Ethereum you can do that here but you need to keep in mind the fees that come with it and the fees differ between which types of cryptocurrency you're exchanging over. So as you can see here it would cost me roughly eight dollars to exchange my Bitcoin into Ethereum. I would be transferring 359 Bitcoin but I would be left with 351 dollars worth of Ethereum. The exchange fee is definitely more expensive on Exodus but you're paying for that service and that convenience of just being able to directly transfer your coins into another one. Keep in mind that the cost for transferring coins can vary depending on the currencies you're trying to exchange and how high the demand is for the currency. For example if you were trying to exchange a currency into Dogecoin when there was a lot of hype surrounding Dogecoin and the accessibility to actually purchase the coin was quite low you would have to pay a higher exchange fee in order to transfer your currency into it. So just keep that in mind, check how much you're actually going to get versus how much you're transferring over because they can add up quite quickly. They can be up to $30 at a time and just keep in mind that you are losing out that amount of money if you're directly exchanging one currency for another. So if you're wanting to purchase some of your own cryptocurrency, this wallet is only where you will be storing your coins. So if you're wanting to actually purchase some of your own cryptocurrency, you're going to need an exchange to purchase them from. So the exchange 
I'm going to be using is a Kiwi based company called Easy Crypto and this is a great place to purchase pretty much any cryptocurrency that you want. If you found the video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay updated with future content. If I've skipped over things a bit too quickly and you want a more exact breakdown of actually setting up your wallet, finding an exchange to purchase your coins from and a step by step guide of what the whole process looks like to actually purchase your own cryptocurrency I'll leave a video linked on screen that will give you a detailed breakdown of exactly how to complete all those steps and get your very own cryptocurrency. Make sure you check that video out if you're interested in buying crypto as a New Zealander.